the top six designs of February. This is an idea I had over the weekend and I thought it could be really cool. Of all the designs I've been sent this month, I'm gonna go over the top six so hopefully you can see what works for people. I'm not just gonna show you the design and talk about the design like I do in my Are Your Designs Any Good segments. I'm going to go through four categories. Category one, potential targeting that you could do in Facebook ads. Category number two, the kind of mock-ups that will look really good on this design. And category three is what products should you put the design on I mean, should it go on a sticker? Should it go on a t-shirt? What would it look best on? And finally, category four is free traffic. How much demand is there using the Google Keyword Planner tool? These four categories are some of the most important elements when creating a successful print-on-demand t-shirt or product in general. One thing to note before continuing is this is of course my opinion. Because I say a design is good, it doesn't mean it's going to get sales. In fact, it doesn't even mean that it's good. You may hate it. The most important thing to know is when it comes to designs, it's like art. It basically is art and it's incredibly subjective. As with everyone making videos on YouTube, we could be wrong. Because we say something should get sales, it doesn't mean it will get sales, okay? I don't want you to watch this video and then pour your life savings into the design that you created if your design is on this video, right? Just, you know. All right, this is gonna be really good and the designs I've picked for this month are really cool. But before we get started, please don't forget to smash that like button. And if you're new here, my name is Shimmy Morris. Please hit that subscribe button and let me know in the comments if you're new so I can welcome you to the channel. We just passed 40,000 subscribers and that is just incredible. So thank you so much for that. And uh, without further ado, let's just get right into the video. In no particular order, we're gonna start with this dog yoga. Inhale, exhale. I thought this was just such a brilliant t-shirt. I said no particular order, but this is probably in the top three of the six. It's just so perfect. Even the words that go out a bit because you're inhaling and exhaling, it's just brilliant. Everything has been thought out and the fart, it, it's spot on. So in terms of Facebook targeting, I did a bit of research for you. And you can see here that if you're targeting the United Kingdom and the United States, you're targeting women because I feel like women will buy this t-shirt a lot more than men and then you're targeting interests such as national mill dog rescue and rocket dog rescue the reason why i generally go for dog rescue interest is because if someone follows a dog rescue page they're much more likely to really really be passionate about dogs right so they're not just going to like dogs and maybe own a dog but they're going to like really care about dogs so that's why i always go for dog rescue interest and there are tons of them by the way this is just two which kind of shows you that there's a huge market out there right as well as that i also added an interest of yoga because obviously they're doing yoga but i didn't add the interest this is how i've done it with facebook you can add you can layer interest so either you can just target everyone or you can target people who like a certain interest and like another certain interest so rather I hope this is making sense. Rather than target people who like rocket dog rescue or who like yoga, that's a big audience, we wanna target people who like rocket dog rescue and who like yoga. So if someone likes rocket dog rescue but they don't like yoga, they're not gonna show up in this audience. And I just thought that is so powerful and you can keep layering it. It's ridiculous how many layers you can go. And every single time you add a layer, obviously the audience gets a lot smaller. So this audience, has an estimated potential reach of 190,000 people, which I think is pretty good. I mean, considering that we've only used two rescue interests and one interest of yoga, there are so many different interests we can do, but this is just an idea, and that I thought was pretty cool. Now, in terms of what mock-ups would look cool, you wanna go for those yoga, nature, relaxing mock-ups, so I thought, this one, and by the way, the mock-ups aren't very good on the t-shirt because I don't actually have these designs. These designs have been sent in to me. So all I have is just, you know, that this picture and I had to kind of work with it to make it work with the mock-up. But you have this mock-up, which is perfect. You know, she's super relaxed. She's basically doing what the first picture of the dog is doing. So that's brilliant. 
And then another mock-up which I thought was perfect was this one, right? It's just someone, you know, holding a yoga mat in nature. It just, it looks, it just fits the part. So make sure when you're finding mock-ups to post on Instagram, post on Facebook, maybe on your Etsy or Shopify store, make sure they fit the part of the t-shirt. Don't just go for those generic mock-ups that everyone uses. The next thing we wanna have a look at is the Google traffic side of things. So we can see when I search for down dog, dogs down, right? You've got all of these. Now this is just in the UK. I'm gonna show you the difference when you expand to the US. It's really interesting. But you've got downward dog, down dog, down dog yoga, down face dog, dogs yoga, puppy yoga. There's quite a lot of demand for this kind of niche, right? But now look at these numbers, right? These numbers are 14,800 at best. If we go to searching in the US as well, you've got th that 14,000 jumps up to 60,000, right? And then you've got 18,000, 12,000, 8,000. So this shows that there is a lot of demand, a lot of demand for this particular product. In terms of what products that you could put them on, well, I thought t-shirts and hoodies, of course, like without a doubt. And next one you could do is a yoga yoga pants, like down the down the side of the leg, just like a little design down the side of the leg, nothing crazy. Right, I thought that could be cool. Stickers is also a very cool one. And then another one, which I feel like a lot of people don't do, and this is a towel, right? Towel is very common when it comes to yoga, right? You know, it really is. And having a towel with this design would really work, a gray towel or, you know, a, a black towel, whatever, with this design could look really, really cool. The next one is this letter L t-shirt. Now, I've kind of drawn on it a bit over here when I was doing the original review, but this letter L t-shirt. Now, I'm not gonna go through all the different types of clothing it should be on or anything like that. This idea, this niche is in a class of its own if it's done right. And as I said on the original review, what you want to be able to do here is have every letter of the alphabet, and then you want to have custom graphics that people can choose that go on. So you can see how the L, the dinosaur, is on the L, right? You want to be able to have any animal on the letter. So what you want to do is, what I would suggest doing is starting an Instagram page, starting a social media following, posting on parents, Facebook groups, trying to get feedback from different parents because that's exactly this type of thing. This could be its own small business. Then what you want to do is you want to either upload to Etsy or upload to Shopify, but you want to have two drop downs on the, the product page. You want to have them being able to pick the letter and then you want them to be able to pick the animal. You want to have maybe 10 to 15 different animals, right? And then obviously you want to have all 26 letters of the alphabet. Now, this is quite a hard thing to do, but it's definitely possible. What you need to do is you need to create the letter, create all the animals, and make sure every animal works on every letter and the placements works for every, every iteration. There's not that many, right? If you've got 26 letters and 15 animals, well, 26 times 15, that's, that's literally how many it is. So what's that? That's 26 times 15. That's 390 different kind of designs. So it would take you a bit of time, but what this will allow, this will allow someone to, let's say, go to Etsy, pick a letter for their kid, and then pick an animal that their kid likes in particular, if it's a panda or a lion or a dinosaur, whatever it is, and it will show up because you've made that design for that. And I just think this idea could be absolutely huge. I can see this on backpacks. I can see this on lunch boxes. I can see this on t-shirts. It could be huge. So. Well done, firstly, for having your design in the top six of the month. Okay, so before I show you the targeting with Facebook, just as an idea, I just wanna say, I don't wanna, you know, kind of tell you what mock-ups it works on or what products it works on, because first, just build the audience. Start building the audience, start messaging groups and pages that have mums on it that like, you know, helping small businesses, because like I said, this is a business on its own. Now, in terms of targeting, I was very specific with this, right? So I did women, you know, in the United States and in the UK who like everything Etsy because this is a very Etsy kind of product, you know, the personal touch to it. So women who like everything Etsy who are parents. Very, very small audience of 23,000 people, but that's not a bad thing. That just means that this is a very, very targeted niche. So I would say if this is your design, again, only if this is your design, don't rip off 
this person's design, but if this is your design, 100% try this out. I know it's a difficult, long game, but it could be really, really worth it. The next design is Leveled Up to Daddy, established 2021. This was one of my favorites for this month, as you can see it's in this video, but I just thought this was a perfect design. It's gonna be super easy to target, super easy to, to, to put on a t-shirt. It's just a brilliant design. So let's go through the different t-shirts, mock-ups, and targeting that you could do. So starting with the Facebook targeting, you can see we have an audience here of 17,000 people. It's very small, very, very niche, but again, this can get bigger and bigger. Let me explain. So far, I'm targeting the United Kingdom and the United States. I'm targeting men, obviously, and I'm targeting men who like Call of Duty, FIFA, Gamer, Gaming, PlayStation 4, Warzone, right? But bear in mind, you can target men who like Xbox, men who like there are so many different games. I'm not going to start listing games, but there are tons and tons of games, right? And you can just go through listing all of these games and make the audience bigger and bigger and bigger. And that's why I thought this was such a good t-shirt because, I mean, obviously there is some form of cap on the size of the audience, but it could be in the millions, right? And then as well as all those games, they also have to be a new parent, zero to 12 months. Now that doesn't mean that the baby was born in 2021. So this is where it's gonna be a bit tough. This t kind of t-shirt would work much better if it said established 2020, because then you've got the full year and there's much more chance of you actually getting a good big audience. For example, you know, this audience here, the dad may have had the baby in November of 2021 because it's zero to 12 months. However, however, it still does technically work and it shows you how much potential there is with this kind of design because it mix, it's mixing two huge niches, gamers and dads, two massive, massive niches. And let me show you just how big the dad niche is. Going to Google, this is where I'm searching for free traffic just to see the demand of a product because Google obviously is the biggest search platform on the planet. So if Google's showing a lot of demand, there's gonna be a lot of demand. So when I search for gaming dad, gamer dad, new dad gift, new dad, present for dad, you can see the gaming dad is not so big, but new dad gift, uh, present for dad, you're talking about 40,000 searches a month. And then gifts for dad, 201,000 searches a month. That is a lot of searches and Father's Day gift ideas, 135,000 searches per month. So this is a brilliant Father's Day gift if they've had a baby in the last three months. This idea could really work and there is just so much demand for it. Let's have a look at some mock-ups that I thought could look cool. So the first mock-up was this mock-up and look, it's I know this isn't doesn't show off much of a dad vibe, but it shows someone playing a game, they could easily be a dad. In terms of finding a dad mock-up, it was very hard to do that because, like I'll show you, right? This mock-up clearly is a dad with their kid. However, this says leveled up to daddy in 2021. They wouldn't have a kid that's two years old, right? Because they'd have a kid that's three months old and they wouldn't have two kids, otherwise they wouldn't be leveled up to daddy they would have already been a dad, right? So it's really hard to find a mock-up with like a dad holding a baby or something like that, but that's kind of where you want to go with it because that, that's, that's literally the perfect audience. Now, in terms of what products to actually put this design on, quite honestly, just stick to a t-shirt, okay? Maybe, maybe a hoodie or a jumper, but I would literally just stick to a t-shirt if it was me. This isn't gonna sell as a sticker. This is not gonna sell as a, in my opinion, remember my opinion, this, I don't think this will sell as a sticker or like, you know, a backpack or a towel or a poster. I think this will just sell as a cute gimmicky t-shirt. The next one is O Whale, which is actually a design by Juna of Detour Shirts, who I'm sure you all know, right? Because you hopefully watch his amazing content. But this is the design and I, I loved it and it had to be in my top six for the month. I thought it was so brilliant. Now in terms of targeting, I found it quite hard because at the end of the day, it's a whale sticker. So I don't have much information on it, but this is what I'll share. So with Facebook targeting, there was for people in the United States and the United Kingdom who were interested in whale watching, I thought loose connection, you know, people who are interested in whale watching are gonna be interested in whales. 
might might like this sticker. There's 860,000 people. So a huge, huge audience, but it's not very targeted. It's just very generic, everyone who likes whales. So I'm not so sure how well that's gonna do. Now, if we look at Google traffic, whale gift, you've got whale gift has 720 average searches a month, which actually isn't that bad. I mean, if that results in two or three sales or four sales a month, that is still pretty good for print on demand for one of your designs to get, you know, three or four sales a month. And considering Juno has, you know, 30, 40, 50,000 designs uploaded on Merch by Amazon, just getting a couple of sales a month for each design, which is very rare because usually you have a couple of designs that get the majority of your sales. But getting a couple of sales on your design is pretty good. So this is really cool to see that there is traffic there. And when you're doing research for your designs, you can 100% use the Google Keyword Planner tool. It's totally free. And if you're interested in me making a video about how to use it, I'll happily do that. Just let me know in the comments down below. But you can see here how, you know, whale gift, 720 searches a month, that's pretty good in my books. Now, in terms of what products for this to go on, I think it should stick to a sticker maybe a t-shirt it could look cool having it like rather than having it big on a t-shirt having it just in the corner on a t-shirt that could look quite cute but june has done it right like he's picked the, like a sticker it works amazingly on a sticker and this is a perfect mock-up right i would also do other mock-ups that you know have water in it or maybe a fish tank or something else to kind of get your mind going in that kind of niche that's what i would do as well but like I said, this was, Juno knows what he's doing, really. All right, let's go to the next one. The next one is I freaking love pandas. And this is a really, really good one because, well, this is just perfect. I mean, in our Are Your Designs Any Good episode, we did, we did recommend some changes like getting rid of the hearts in the letters that didn't have a hole in them. So like the R and the A, it's fine to keep a heart, but then the F and the E and the K and the... I and the N and the G, it looked a bit odd. But anyways, this was just a brilliant, brilliant design and it's super targeted. People who love pandas, they don't like pandas, they freaking love pandas. So I thought that was quite cool. Now in terms of targeting, on Facebook we have an audience size of 210,000 people targeting United Kingdom and the United States. I'm targeting women only. Again, I feel like I just, me personally, I feel like this is much more of a shirt women will buy than men will buy. And then in terms of targeting, I've targeted people who like the page I Love Pandas, which I think has like 20,000 likes, and then people who like WWF. And then in terms of Google traffic, this is where things got a bit interesting. You can see Panda T-shirt or Panda Gift brought back 1,300 searches for Panda T-shirt, which is a lot of searches. People are searching a lot for Panda T-shirt. And then you've got Panda Gift, which is bringing back 4,400 searches, which is also a lot of searches. And then of course you've got Panda Mug, you've got Trash Panda Shirt, Panda Gift for Girls, Red Panda Gift, Gift Panda, Panda Shirts, which also has 1,600 searches. So you've got a lot of different keywords that you can use here that people are clearly searching for. So make sure to use these keywords in your tags, in your title, in your description, so that when people search on Google, you could be ranking for them. Now, in terms of what mockups to use, personally, I think mockups in nature will work best, like something like this right now. I couldn't put the design on this mockup because as you can see from the design, I don't have the original design, so I couldn't put it on the mockup. But a mockup like this would work really well and a mock-up like this, I think, would work really well because it kind of screams nature and that's like a panda's habitat. Um, and as well as that, by the way, I just wanna quickly add, in terms of where I'm getting these mock-ups, I use Placeit to get mock-ups. And if you want, the link is in the description, 15% off, so it's a really good deal. And the reason I like using Placeit for mock-ups is because they have the biggest library of mock-ups. And I'm able to search for specific mock-ups for specific designs. And mock-ups are important, right? You wouldn't want just a generic mock-up with this panda t-shirt. You wanna really think about getting into the mind of the buyer, right? What are they thinking? What are they feeling? Where, where is their head when they're thinking of a panda t-shirt? It's probably more in the nature scene, right? The nature side of things, which is why I went for these two mock-ups with a lot of greenery in nature, you know, and obviously with girls because I'd be targeting females. 
So I'm not going to have it on a male t-shirt because that wouldn't make any sense for the targeting, right? So that's kind of how my brain works in terms of design and traffic and finding an audience and finding a mock-up. That's the panda one. Last but not least, we have a uh, hedgehog, my hedge. And it's a hedgehog, you know, with his territory of his hedge. It's just, it's a brilliant design. And I just thought, my gosh, it's, it's amazing. Now, I had to do a bit of work on this because it was hard to find the right audience for this. But with Facebook, I was able to find 29,000 people in the United Kingdom and the United States who were interested in hedgehogs and printed t-shirts. So not hedgehogs or printed t-shirts, hedgehogs and printed t-shirts. So they had to like both of them, which is why this audience is so small. 29,000 people is tiny, but that's not a bad thing. It shows that it's really, really targeted. And don't worry, I'm gonna have a full Facebook tutorial coming out in the next couple of weeks. I'm still working on it and it's gonna be incredible. I'm gonna explain fully how to find all this information out yourself. But I thought printed t-shirt is brilliant because if they like t-shirts that have printed designs on it, that's what you're looking for. That's the audience you're going for. And then if they like hedgehogs, perfect. Let's, let's combine the two. Now, in terms of what this would look good on, I personally think this would look good on a sticker and a t-shirt or hoodie, right? When I say t-shirt, it kind of works with hoodies as well. But those are the two products I think it would work on. I don't know if it will work on other print-on-demand products. Now look, there are tons and of course, spread yourself. If you wanna put it on many products on print-on-demand, then do that. But I think the biggest sellers would be stickers, t-shirts, oh, and mugs. So let's have a look. This is the mug one, right? It looks perfect, right? It just really fits perfectly on that mug. And here's, here it is on a sticker, on a bumper sticker of a car. Again, I don't have the original design, so that's why you've got this annoying shadow and it looks like it's just been plonked there because I don't have that original transparent back work, but, um, artwork. So that's what it would look like on a car. So I think having a sticker, a mug, and potentially a t-shirt could look quite cool. Now in terms of Google traffic, when I searched for Hedgehog Funny, we were able to bring back 1,300 searches a month, which is actually pretty good. I like those, those odds. I like that amount of targeting, right? That's 1,300 people searching Hedgehog Funny on Google. And I doubt there is that much traffic. In fact, if you look over here, you can see just a bit, the competition is low, which makes a lot of sense because who the hell is searching for Hedgehog Funny? But it goes to show that there is a market for this T-shirt. So definitely make sure to put this keyword in your tags, in your title, in your description. And if you really want, create an ad and target this keyword. That is my deep dive into the top six designs of the month, of the month of February. Let me know if you like this video and if you want me to make another one on the 1st of April for all the designs in March. Thank you so much for watching. I'm looking forward to seeing all the comments from all the new subscribers, from everyone who wants to see this or doesn't want to see this and I just wanna say once again before saying goodbye, thank you so, so much for 40,000 subscribers. Hopefully I'll see you on Wednesday for Wednesday's video.